Have you seen Married at First Sight Season 9? If so, do you know who's still together in the show? If not, we'll fill you in on all the details. Married at First Sight is an Australian show which has indeed lasted nine seasons, and that's honestly quite impressive given the premise of the show and how unrealistic it likely feels to some who have watched it. Even with that though, those who have watched it are almost entranced by the couples and want to see if they work out or not. And with season 9, there were definitely a lot of questions on that front as we'll reveal to you. Holly Greenstein and Andrew Davis Holly and Andrew didn't make it past the second commitment ceremony, but is it possible they're still friends? Holly, the only one who appears to have an Instagram account, has posted no promo pictures of him at all. Harsh? Well, well, not given the way he was able to turn the group against her during the commitment ceremony. To quote Holly, There's the door, my darling. Now there's a line you could make a series off of. We're just saying. And as we'll see for many more of these couples, it wasn't meant to be. And that might be for the best. Holly has since moved on and now has a new beau. Hopefully, she won't have to mention where the door is for them. Olivia Fraser and Jackson Loney The reunion episode is just bursting with answers. But none more pressing than, are Olivia and Jackson still together? The two were spotted arriving together, but the trailer also hinted that a breakup may have occurred when the camera panned to them after the judges were seen asking who ended the relationship. So, what is the truth? Well, we can confirm Olivia and Jackson are very much in love as they announced their decision to move in together during the reunion. Thus, if you were fans of them, rejoice! Dominica Calarco and Jack Miller It seems like only yesterday that Dominica had stated that she and Jack were still going strong. During the hit was Alan and Carly show, as reported by Hart, Dominica said, Last night, Jack and I were holding each other watching it like, Oh my God, this is magical. It was just incredible reliving that moment. When prodded by the host about this slip-up, the MAFS star admitted, So much has happened between them, the show's finale, and now... But Jack and I are as strong as ever, and you'll see at the reunion. There's a bit to come. However, they broke fans' hearts when they revealed at the reunion that they'd split. The two parted ways after Jack revealed Dominica had ended things because their relationship had fizzled. Things still remain ever so friendly, though, as Jack told co-stars, I still speak to her like every second day or every other day. Don't get me wrong, it was very mutual. Very like, we put our heart and soul into it. He added, You know, honestly, I love her to bits. Dominica echoed that sentiment when she took to Instagram to post a pic on her stories of the two cozying up together in bed. The caption read, Family. Kate Laidlaw and Matthew Ridley. And now for a real downer, okay? Kate and Matt didn't exactly have chemistry. In fact, their wedding day kiss could only be described as awkward. It was pretty much downhill from there on out, with many tense moments. Eventually, they decided to call it quits, with Kate writing, leave for a second week in a row. This is easily one of the more dangerous elements of the show, and dumber ones too. Because sometimes you're going to have people paired up with one another that just don't deserve to be paired up. And yet, the show makes that happen because, quite frankly, it's entertainment. And some people like to watch the train wreck happen. And you'll wonder why we're failing as a society. Tamara Georgievic and Brent Vitellio. Referring to your spouse as average shortly after the nuptials doesn't spell a happy ending in any fairy tale book. It seems Brent fell short of Tamara's extremely high expectations and continued to do so as the two shockingly didn't make it to the end. However, they do follow each other on social media. It's nice to know that despite their train wreck of a start, they were at least able to salvage some sort of a friendship, even if it's just a social media one. It may not be what everyone wanted, but take what you can get, right? Carolina Santos and Dion Giannarelli After keeping Dion waiting for three hours on their wedding day, the romantics still refer to Carolina as worth the wait. But was she worth the stay? In short, no. While Dion was pleased with his match, Carolina was so disappointed she struck up a romance with fellow contestant Daniel Holmes. The pair were given the brush off by the judges for asking to re-enter the experiment as a brand new couple. This didn't deter the two, who added further insult to their arranged marriages by showing up at the reunion holding hands. Scandalous. So, as in all things, make of this relationship as you will. Jessica Ciracino and Daniel Holmes Which brings the topic round to Jess and Daniel. They had their fair share of squabbles. 
Tiffs aside, they weren't even together by the time Daniel got together with Carolina. Another doom Jess and Dan for the books. Celine Mengu and Anthony Sincotta. Third time was the charm for this pair, and by third time, we mean it only took them three commitment ceremonies to know it was a wrap. Anthony may have been the one to walk out during the honeymoon, and boy, did he cop for that at the group dinner. But the single dad claimed to have been driven to it and accused his wife of behavior that left him feeling belittled. Anthony was moved to apologize for leaving, but Celine refused to accept his gesture, and when the time came, both wrote leave. Samantha Moinsey and Al Perkins Al was new to the dating world, having never been in a serious relationship before entering the show. But has he found the one in Samantha? Chances are that he is not. Samantha shared a picture of the two on their wedding day, which seemed promising, but the caption states, We might not have loved, but we definitely did laugh. Nice to see a positive spin put on a split. Ella Ding and Mitchell Inode. When it comes to Ella and Mitchell, things are looking decidedly ambiguous. The final vow ceremony dealt Ella a heavy blow. Though she wanted to give their relationship a chance, Mitchell declined, saying, How can we walk out of here together as partners when, at the moment, I don't see this as a substantial relationship? What I need now is to go back to my life, to my family, to my friends. Ouch. Ella stormed off tearily. It turns out, a cooling off period was all that was needed as the two later reunited and were spotted looking rather cozy. Sadly, it was not meant to be, as the MAFS reunion revealed that they've called it quits once more. Selena Shar and Cody Bromley Initially, things seemed to be all warm and fuzzy for Selena and Cody. They shared gushy posts in reflection of their wedding, with Cody captioning his, Memories to last a lifetime, while Selena's caption read, Everything has led to this moment. However, the relationship took a bit of a nosedive when Selena explained that the pair had split following the filming of the first part of the reunion dinner. Selena admitted, Last night, he was a bit more standoffish than usual. After everyone was gone, I went and grabbed his hand and he kind of just flinched and took it away. I was like, oh, okay, is it that bad holding my hand? And he was like, I just don't want to. And that's when I do say things like, well, why am I here? Let me go if you're not feeling it. And he said, I want to end things. A rather abrupt shock end to their romance. Selena also recently denied reports that she and Al are a couple, confirming that they're just friends. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Married at First Sight Season 9 and the fates of the couple on the show? Were you surprised by the ones that kept it together and made it all work? Were you shocked at the ones who couldn't go through with it at the end? What do you think will happen in Season 10 to top this one? Let us know in the comments below and... We'll see you next time on the channel.